Hey guys, my name is Lauren Ekstrom and I'm excited to share this full 45 minute power yoga flow to start your day. But before you begin, jump down into the comments below. Click on the first link that you see. That link is going to take you to a page where you'll be gifted my entire 10 day program journey to yoga completely for free. That program is made up of 10 thematic classes that are 45 minutes each. Plus you'll get access to a downloadable workbook to accompany the program. I'm giving this entire program away completely for free. I'm so excited to share it with you. So click on that link, get your free version of the program, and I look forward to seeing you in the practice. This is a power yoga flow to get your day going, your heart moving, and your body warm. We'll begin in child's pose with the big toes together and the knees as far apart as feels comfortable for you. Make it an active child's pose. Extend the arms out in front of you and rest the forehead to the earth. With the hands about the distance of the shoulders, lift the forearms as you drive the sitting bones back to the heels. Take a moment, maybe close the eyes, and start to establish the sound of your breath. As you take a few breaths, understanding that you carve this time out to be on your mat and not taking a single breath for granted. Feeling each breath hit the very base, the very bottom of your lungs as you create a steady, even in and out breath. On your next inhale, rise up to all fours sliding your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. On an inhale, lift your heart, spread your collarbones wide and lift your tail to the sky. As you exhale, drop your head, round your spine, dome your back and separate the shoulder blades. Inhale, draw your heart forward, just starting to warm the back body and link into the breath. Exhale, drop your head, round your spine, press evenly through your two hands. Two more cycles, inhaling, heart draws forward, collarbones widen and spread. Exhale, drop your head, tuck your tail and let your head hang. Inhale, draw your heart forward, slide your shoulders down your back away from your ears. Exhale, drop your head, tuck your tail and allow your neck to be long as your head hangs. On an inhale, come back to a flat back and step your right toes to the back of your mat. Then spin your right foot flat to the floor. Check that your left knee is right underneath your left hip, your left hand right underneath your left shoulder. And on an inhale, send your right arm straight up toward the sky. Modified variation of side plank pose. Anchor through the outside edge of your right foot. Slide your left shoulder down your back. And with your belly drawing in and your tailbone lengthening back, take one more inhale, stretch up through your right hand. And as you exhale, send your right arm up and over your right ear. You might look underneath your arm, you might look to the side, or you might look down toward the floor, depending on your neck. But drive out of your left arm and reach long from the outer edge of your right foot through your right fingertips. Still drawing your belly in, on your next inhale, reach your right arm straight up toward the sky. And as you exhale, plant your right hand back underneath your right shoulder, spin onto all five right toes, and lift your right leg the height of your right hip. Sweep your left arm forward, go long from fingertip to heel. With your gaze down your neck long, take a deep inhale, stretch everything out. As you exhale, draw your elbow to your knee, curl in and see if the elbow can come to the outside edge of the knee. Inhale, reach everything out, feel the low belly lift. Exhale, elbow to knee, tap and touch, hug the belly to the back. Inhale, reach everything out, go for space across the spine. Exhale, elbow to knee, curl in and contract. One more time. Inhale, send it all out. Exhale, elbow to knee, tap and touch. On an inhale, send everything out, take a full breath, grow long. Exhale, hand, knee, foot to the mat, back to tabletop pose. Second side, step your left toes back, pivot your back foot flat, and with your right hand underneath your right shoulder, inhale your left arm to the sky. So stacking the joints evenly, so that the wrist is right underneath the shoulder, the knee is right underneath the hips. As you lengthen through the crown of the head, press through your left heel, take one more inhale, stretch up, and exhale your left arm up and over your left ear. 
As you reach through your left fingertips, see how long you can get through the sides of the waist and resist collapsing into the right shoulder. Drag your right shoulder blade down your back. Maybe your heart starts to spiral toward the sky and on an inhale, send your left fingertips up high. As you exhale, place the left hand back underneath the left shoulder and as you pivot to all five left toes, lift the left leg the height of the hip. Sweep the right arm forward, extend out through the fingertips. Take one more inhale, going for length and space. As you exhale, elbow to knee, curl in, tap and touch, elbow outside the knee. Inhale, reach everything out. Exhale, elbow to knee, hug your belly button up to your spine. Inhale, send everything out, belly still lifts. Exhale, elbow to knee, curl and contract. Inhale, extend everything out, last time. Exhale, elbow to knee, tap and touch. Inhale, reach everything out, take a goodbye breath, and exhale, hand, knee, foot to the mat. Keep your low belly lifted, your front ribs drawing in, and then step your feet back to the top of a push-up plank position. Draw your collarbones wide. Let the center of your sternum, your heart lead the way. And with your thighs firming, drag your forearms in, but wrap your triceps back. Take a deep inhale, the top of a push-up plank pose. And as you exhale, shift forward and lower all the way down onto the mat, slow. Release the tops of the feet to the floor and slide the wrists right underneath the elbows. Just starting to warm the back, inhale, lift the heart, spread the collarbones wide and pin your elbows in and back. Exhale, heart, chest and chin to the floor. Two more times like that, warming the back body. Inhale, draw the heart forward, top of the head leads the way. Exhale, heart, chest and chin, lower, slow. Legs stay strong the whole time. Inhale, lift the heart, baby cobra, shoulders wrap down the back. Exhale, heart, chest and chin, lower, slow. Keep what you have, tuck your toes, feel your knees lift as you press into your hands, drag your tailbone back, press back to plank pose, and then all the way up and back, downward facing dog. As you come into your first downward facing dog, check that your hands are about the distance of your shoulders, your first finger pointing straight ahead or slightly out but never in. With your feet about the distance of your sitting bones, or maybe as wide as your hips, Start to send your heels down low, but continue to lift your sitting bones up toward the sky. Growing long through the spine, take an inhale, press the heart, the chest back, and as you exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, and lightly step your feet to meet your hands. You might take a lot of steps on this first round. Inhale, glance out halfway. Fingertips might align with your toes, or they can come up towards your shin. Exhale, fold forward over your thighs, let your head hang. On an inhale, circle your arms up and overhead. Maybe you watch your palms connect. Exhale, draw your hands together at the center of your heart. Take a moment and close your eyes or find one spot on the horizon where your eyes can rest. And so sensing that you've carved out this time to be in your practice, that you're not gonna let a single moment, a single movement, or a single breath pass you by. This is your time without taking anything for granted, bringing yourself back here as often as you need to, and knowing that your breath is here to support you. On an inhale, circle your arms to the sky. Full breath as you lengthen through the sides of the waist. Exhale, fold forward and dive over your thighs. Inhale, glance out, lengthen your spine. And for the first round, plant your hands, step back to the top of a push-up. Exhale, hover chaturanga elbows in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Wrap your collarbones wide, roll your shoulders back. Exhale from the pit of your belly, up and back to downward facing dog. Let your heels become heavy and find one point for your eyes. Knowing that where the eyes go, the energy flows and this is your time to do the work on the inside. Once your alignment is set, your priority is your breath, letting everything that's happening off this mat, outside this room, just simply fall away. Starting to find your flow as we build a little heat. Inhale, press the heart, the chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees. Step or if you like, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, glance out halfway, lengthen your spine, your back. 
Exhale, fold forward and melt in. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Big breath carries you high. Exhale, hands back at your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead as you rise. Exhale, fold forward, dive over your thighs. Inhale, glance out, find a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, either step to plank or float to chaturanga, the elbows bend. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, press your way back. Again, align your heels right behind your second and third toes. So the outer edges of your feet are even and aligned with the outer edges of your mat. Your heels might not touch the mat, that's okay. They just continue to stay heavy as you firm your thighs back. Grounding through your hands, inhale, stretch your chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, glance out, lengthen your spine, your back. Exhale, fold forward and in. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands come back at your heart. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead as you rise. Exhale, fold forward, dive over your thighs. Inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Heart leads the way. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Reset yourself, ears between your arms rolling your shoulders away from your head. As you come back into downward facing dog, roll the outer arms away from the sides of the head. One last cycle here, take an inhale, stretch back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, step or float. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward back inside. Last time, inhale, circle the arms up and overhead rise. Exhale, hands back at your heart where it matters most. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward, dive over your thighs. Inhale, glance out, spread the collarbones wide. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, shift back to downward facing dog and pause in downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, float forward to the top of a push up. Feel your tailbone reaching back, your low belly gathered in. Take an inhale in plank pose, and then exhale, hover, chaturanga, and see if you can hold for five. Shoulders back for four, elbows in for three, low belly lifted for two, on one, straighten your arms to plank. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Two more times like that, remembering you can always use your knees to modify for support. Inhale forward, top of a push-up, building heat and strength. Exhale, chaturanga hover, inner hand presses, collarbones wide, gaze down, back of the neck long. Inhale, press to plank. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog, just one more time. Inhale forward, top of a push-up. Exhale, chaturanga hover, face soft, breath steady, Legs strong, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take a full inhale, press your heart, your chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, glance out, reach your heart, your chest ahead. Exhale, fold forward and in. Bend your knees, drop your hips and shift your weight back into your heels. On an inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Palms face each other. As you shift the weight back into the heels, sense that your toes are light. Take one more inhale, chair pose. Exhale, press to stand. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment. Notice your breath. Notice the early heat in your body. On an inhale, re-bend your knees, sit your weight down and back. One breath, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, dive down and in. Inhale, stretch your heart, your chest ahead. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, press your way back. On an inhale, lift your right leg, the height of your right hip. Exhale, step your right foot forward, pivot your back foot flat. 
On an inhale, first warrior, lift your arms up and overhead. Draw your right thigh parallel to the mat. Draw your right hip back and pivot your outer left foot toward the top of your mat. Keep firming your left thigh back and as you sit down and in, lengthen your tailbones to the earth. As you stretch up through your fingertips, one time here, lion's breath, we're gonna open the chest, take an inhale, sweep up, exhale, elbows in, tongue out. <sighs> inhale, both arms to the sky, first warrior, maybe you watch the palms connect. Exhale, plant your hands down to the mat, step back to the top of a push-up, and lower slow elbows in. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, press your way back. Inhale, your left leg, the height of your left hip. Exhale, step your left foot forward, pivot your back foot flat. From a firm foundation, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Your biceps might come in front of your head. Your arms might come back by your ears. What keeps your chest open? Your shoulders down your back and your neck long so that your breath is free and receptive. As you drop down through your left thigh, keep your back leg strong. Take a deep inhale, reach up, lion's breath, elbows in. <sighs> inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands to the mat. Step back to the top of a push-up and lower down with strength. Inhale, pull your heart, your chest through. Exhale, down dog, press your way back. And take a couple of breaths. Let your eyes rest on one point, or maybe even invite your eyes to close. Sensing that this is time that you carved out for yourself, as you just start to stoke your breath and you start to stoke the heat of transformation and change. Flowing through this, linking it together one breath at a time. Inhale, stretch your chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float light. Inhale, glance out and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips, chair pose. Exhale, press to stand, hands to your heart. Chair pose. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, chaturanga, step or float. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale as you step it through light. Inhale, warrior one, rise. Lion's breath one time. <sighs> Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to upper push up and descend. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot steps through light, back foot flat. Inhale, first warrior sweep and rise. Exhale, lion's breath. <sighs> Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands through the vinyasa, step back and lower with steadiness. Inhale, pull your heart, your chest through. Exhale, roll over your toes. Find one place for your gaze. Get still in your body and notice the wave of your breath rolling in and out through your nose. At any point in time, if you need to rest, knowing that you can come back where we began to child's pose. Your knees can come down, your hips can drop back, giving yourself rest at any point in time if it serves what you need best. With your intention still in place, Taking this time for you. Inhale, press your chest back, round two. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold in. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips. Exhale, press and rise to stand. Inhale, bend your knees, shift your weight back, chair pose one breath. Exhale, dive and fold over your straight legs. Inhale, glance out. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, press back. Inhale, right leg to the sky. 
Exhale, step it through light. First warrior, one breath rise, elbows in, tongue out. <sighs> Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, same out breath, lower, slow. Inhale, lift your heart, your chest. Exhale, roll over your toes. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, step it through light. Inhale, first warrior, rise. Exhale, tongue out. <sighs> Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, same out breath, descend. Inhale, pull your heart, your chest through, soft face. Exhale, fold over your toes. Pause in downward facing dog. Notice your breath. Knowing that the breath is the fastest way to reconnect to the present moment. That anytime you find the mind being dragged into the future or drawn into the past, you can come back to the sound of your breath, coming right back to this time that you've carved out for yourself on your mat. One last time, inhale, chest back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or flip. Inhale, heart ahead. Exhale, fold and melt in. Inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips. Exhale, press and rise to stand. Inhale, re-bend your knees, sit your weight down and back. Exhale, fold forward and melt. Inhale, offer your heart. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or flow. Inhale, lift your heart, your chest. Exhale, down dog, press back. On an inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot through, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, rise. Exhale, lion's breath. <sighs> Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Same out breath, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, float your left leg to the sky. Exhale, step your left foot through. Inhale, first warrior sweep and rise. Last time, lion's breath. <sighs> Inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Same out breath, hover. Inhale, pull your heart high up, dog. Exhale, down dog, press back. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Right foot steps through, exhale, back foot flat. First warrior, inhale, sweep and rise. Hands behind the back, catch and interlace your fingers. Draw your collarbones wide, drag your knuckles down. On an inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest. Keep your right thigh drawing back. Take a full breath at the top and exhale, humble warrior. It might be your chest parallel to your thigh or it might be your right shoulder on the inside of your knee. Drop your head, keep hugging your right hip in and keep descending your right thigh parallel to the mat. With your toes soft, turn your outer left hip down. Keep lifting your hands up and off your back, let your head be heavy. Grounding through your feet, strong foundation on an inhale. First warrior, circle the arms up and overhead. Open up warrior two. Heel toe your front foot to align with your back arch. Stack your shoulders right above your hips and turn your gaze forward. Find one place for your eyes to rest. As you descend through your right thigh, keep firming your left leg back. Turn your right palm to the sky, and on an inhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm lifting up and overhead. Right hip lifting up and off your right thigh. Keep your left hand lightly placed on your back left leg. Take one more inhale, stretch back. Exhale, right elbow to your right thigh. Left arm straight up to the sky. If you would like to place your right hand down inside your right foot, you can. Lean your chest open, roll your left shoulder back. Take a full inhale here. And as you exhale, left arm up and over your head. So the same thing you found earlier, you could look up and under the arm, you could look straight ahead, or you could look down at the mat depending on your neck. 
Find one place for your eyes, and no matter where you look, start to turn your chest open to the sky. As you firm through the outside edge of your left foot, let your left fingertips reach. Ground through your feet, inhale back up to warrior two, spread wide. Exhale, straighten your front right leg. Turn your right toes to mirror your left, bring your hands to your hips. Take an inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward between your legs. Drop your hands down the distance of your shoulders and let your head hang. You might find the top of your head resting on the floor or if the floor feels like it's far away, just let the head be heavy. Have the hands right underneath the elbows, hug the elbows in, and slide the shoulders down the back. With strong legs, keep firming the thighs. On an inhale, glance out halfway, find a long spine. As you exhale, crawl to your front right leg into a high runner's lunge. Reach your heart forward, firm through your left heel, and plant your left hand to the mat. Turn the outer edge of your left foot flat to the earth and step your right foot on top of your left, Vashistasana side plank pose. Stack your right shoulder on top of your left. Reach up through your right fingertips. Take an inhale and extend your right arm up and over your head. Still sliding your left shoulder down your back, arc your hips away from the earth. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Hold the top of a push-up. Take a goodbye breath. Exhale, hover elbows, hug your waist. Inhale, wide collarbones, wide chest. Exhale, down dog, wind your way back. Pause and down dog. Take an inhale, stretch back. As you exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float. Top of your mat. Inhale, glance out. Exhale, fold and melt. Heel toe your feet the distance of your hips. Reach down and hook your big toes. Inhale, glance out halfway. Find a long spine, a long back. Exhale, flare your elbows, drop your head, and draw yourself in. If you have a lot of rounding in the spine or your chest is really far away from your thighs, bend your knees as much as you need to so that your chest can rest on your thighs, so that your low and your mid-back can be long. Let your head be heavy. You could even nod it a little bit, yes or no. And sense that your tongue is soft in your mouth, that your jaw is unhinged. Then keep what you have, take one more inhale. Exhale, release the hook of your big toes. If you don't have a bend in your knees, add a little bend. Let your head hang, let your arms hang, and ragdoll roll your way up to standing. One vertebrae at a time. The head is the very last thing to come up. Roll the shoulders down and back, and bring the hands together at the center of the heart. Close the eyes. Leave the sweat on the skin alone. Leave your clothes alone and just be a witness to what's arising within you as you continue to attune to your breath. On an inhale, blink your eyes open, heel toe your feet toward each other, big toes connect. On an inhale, bend your knees, drop your hips into chair pose, keep what you have Float your left thigh towards your chest. Shift the weight into your right leg. Stack your left thigh over your right. Your left foot can hang out. Your toes could rest on the earth, or you could wrap the foot behind your calf. Either way, keep what you have, and then same thing with the elbows. The left elbow underneath the right. Elbows draw away from the face. Forearms press in toward each other as you sit down into your right thigh. Pull your left hip back and see if your shoulders today can stay right above your hip. So you work the belly, the ribs back. Sink down a little deeper into your right thigh. On an inhale, straighten your right leg, keep your arms intertwined and kick your left leg out in front of you. Stacking your shoulders still above your hips, flex your left toes towards your face. 
Take one more inhale here. And as you exhale, float back to warrior three. Left leg reaches back. Maybe a little micro bend in your right knee, so turn the outer left hip down. Then keep what you have with the base of the body, the legs, and on an inhale, reach your arms forward. Full warrior three. Stretch out from left heel through fingertips. Take one more big inhale. As you exhale, left hand underneath your left shoulder, right arm to the sky. Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana, twisting half moon. Low back stays flat. Maybe you start to turn the gaze up toward the sky. As you reach through the right hand, reach through the crown of the head. Take one more inhale, spread wide. Exhale, right hand down. Walk your hands in, fold over your right thigh. Right hand might wrap around the right calf. Let your head be heavy. As you send energy out through your left heel, fold yourself down and in. And then just see how high your left leg can lift. Take one more inhale here. Right fingertips down, left foot meets the right. Inhale, chest out, heart ahead. Exhale, fold back in, re-bend the knees, send the arms to the sky, back to chair pose. Hands to your heart as you exhale. Right elbow outside your left knee, so you counter twist. Check your knees out, firm your right thigh back, knees are side by side. Palms press toward each other, roll your chest open and reach through the crown of your head. Either stay right here, drop your right hand down, reach your left arm to the sky. Tiniest sense of a back bend. Lean back, open up, sink down and in. On an inhale, back to chair pose, full breath. Exhale, dive and fold in half. Inhale, chest out, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, step or float. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, down dog, press back. Pause and down dog. Let your ears align between your arms. Take a steady breath. Sitting bones still lifted high, feeling the heat in the body. On your own and as you're ready in your own time, inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot through top of the mat, second side. Pivot your back foot flat. Inhale, circle your arms up, warrior one as you sweep and rise high. Exhale, hands behind your back. Catch and interlace your fingers, maybe one finger over on this side. Inhale, lift your heart, drag your knuckles down, roll your shoulders back. Take a full breath, lift through your chest. Exhale, humble warrior as you dive down and in. Chest might be parallel to the thigh. Shoulder might come in the inside of the left knee. But draw your left hip in and turn your right hip, your right shoulder down toward the earth. Let your eyes find one place to rest. And notice if you're tensing anything that you don't need. Softening your toes, softening your face. Grounding through your feet. On an inhale, sweep up, warrior one, arms overhead. Open up, warrior two, exhale, spread your arms wide. Left heel aligning with your back arch. Stretch out wide from fingertip to fingertip. Like that warrior, turn your gaze over your left middle hand and find one place for your eyes to rest. With your legs strong, your breath steady, turn your left palm to the sky. Inhale and reverse your warrior, left arm up and overhead. Keep your right hand light and firm your right thigh into your right hand. See if you can sit down a little deeper. Take one more inhale, stretch back. Exhale, left elbow to your left thigh. Right arm straight up to the sky. You can stay right here or if you would like, drop your left hand inside your left foot. Draw long through the sternum, the crown of the head. Lean back, open up, and with your legs firm, take an inhale, and reach your right arm up and over your head. Turn your chest open to the sky. And then notice that you're not just enduring the pose, you're not just waiting for it to be over, that you're using your breath to stoke your sense of strength and your resiliency, 
not taking a single breath for granted today. With your legs strong, inhale, press back to warrior two, spread wide. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Turn your left toes to mirror your right. This time, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your chest. And as you exhale, fold forward, reach out and hook your big toes. And if you can't reach your toes, hold the outer edges of your legs. Inhale, glance out. Exhale, flare your elbows, drop your head. Slide your shoulders down your back. Keep pressing firm through your thighs. And allow your weight to tilt forward a little bit into the balls of your toes. You can check in again, keep everything light and free. Face soft, head heavy. On an inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, fingertips underneath your face. Inhale, chest out. Stay down low as you exhale, crawl to your front left knee. Pivot onto your back right toes. Plant your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Spin to the blade of your right foot. Left arm to the sky. Stack your feet. Side plank pose. Toes draw toward you. Hips lift away from the mat. Take a full inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Left arm up and over your head. Palm turns to face behind you. Send your left hip forward rather than back. Inhale. Left arm to the sky. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Take a goodbye breath, plank pose. And exhale, hover slow. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, shift back to down dog. Pause in down dog, reset your feet. Take an inhale, stretch back. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, fold and melt. Heel toe your feet hip distance. Either hook the big toes again, or this time, pata hastasana, lift your feet and slide your hands underneath your feet. Inhale, pull your chest ahead. Exhale, fold yourself down and in. Same invitation here. You can bend your knees as much as you need to to rest your chest on your thighs. Then let your head get heavy. And over time, start to send your sitting bones to the sky. But trying to lessen that gap between your belly and your thighs. Keeping your mid-back and your low back as unrounded and as long as they can possibly be. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release your hands out from underneath your feet. Keep that micro bend in your knees again. Ragdoll roll your way up to stand. Head is the last thing to come up at the top. Roll the shoulders up, down, and back. Bring your hands together at your heart. And just remembering, it's not that we have so little time, it's that we waste so much of it. And so today, not letting a moment go to waste. You showed up on your mat, in your body, in your breath, in your practice, making every moment count. On an inhale, blink your eyes open, heel toe your feet to touch. Last little bit of your standing practice. Bend your knees, shift your weight back. Chair pose, shift your weight into your left foot, draw your right thigh to your chest. Stack your right thigh over your left and maybe double wrap your foot, let it hang out or drop the toes to the mat. Same thing with the elbows. Right elbow underneath the left, full eagle pose. Pull the right hip back. Squeeze the inner thighs together and press the elbows ahead. Try to broaden through the front of the chest. As you sit down and in, draw the ribs, the belly back. On an inhale, left leg straight, kick your right leg out. Keep the arms intertwined. Shoulders above your hips, take a good by breath. Exhale, float back, slower you go, stronger you get. Warrior three. Turn your outer right hip down. Little bend even in your left knee. Gaze down on an inhale, reach your arms forward. Full expression of warrior three. Take one last deep breath, right hand under right shoulder, left arm to the sky. Twisting half moon, turn your belly to the left. Reach through your right heel, but reach through the crown of your head. Lean back, open up, take a full inhale, stretch. 
Exhale, left hand down, walk your hands in, standing splits. Left hand might come behind the left calf. Drop your head, and it doesn't matter how high your right leg gets. Just keep it strong. Send energy out through your right heel. Press it back. Take one more inhale, right leg lifts. Left fingertips to the floor, right foot meets the left. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, fold and melt. Bend your knees, drop your hips, last standing pose. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart, left elbow outside your right knee, counter twist for the health of the spine. Drag your thumbs back, reach to the crown of your head, and with your knees side by side, either stay right here or drop your left hand down, reach your right arm to the sky. Lean back, open up, tiniest touch of a back bend. Keep your heels heavy, inhale, chair pose, full breath. Exhale, fold forward, dive down and in. Inhale, lengthen your spine, last vinyasa, step or float. Inhale, pull your heart high. Exhale, fold back over your thighs. Take a good bye inhale, down dog. Exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Crawl your knees forward, cross your ankles behind you and roll onto your back. Give your knees a hug and squeeze. Give your body a deep hug and acknowledgement of gratitude and thanks. It's not always easy to get on our mats, but it's so good when we do. Lower your feet to the floor the distance of your hips. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Wrap your right thigh forward. You can stay right here or draw your left knee into your chest. Start to lengthen the exhales. Start to slow the rate of the heart. If it feels comfortable, close the eyes and take these last couple of moments to really move inside. You built some good heat in the body to get the day going. And now you have the opportunity to really enjoy the benefits of your effort in your practice. Right thigh wrapping forward, left hip hugging in, send breath into the seat of your body. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, cactus your elbows, slide your right thigh on top of your left, kick your feet out wide. Grab the under edges of your feet, or if you can't reach your feet, you can hold your shins instead. Lift your feet parallel, let the back of your head rest. Moving from your inner hip and now into your outer hip, keep lengthening the sides of your waist. Take a good bye inhale here. Exhale, release the feet. Cactus the elbows, shift the hips to the right, drop the knees to the left, easy twist. Gaze might drop to the right. Allow your shoulders to be heavy. Allow your head to be heavy as all effort falls away. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, uncross your right leg. Both feet flat to the floor, second side. Left ankle over your right knee. Reach down, draw your right thigh into your chest. Sending breath into your outer left hip. Allow your left toes to flex back. And your active left foot is what protects your left knee. Drop your head back and allow your right thigh to move in as your left thigh moves ahead. With your hips square, your face soft, drop your shoulders down your back.
Take one more inhale. As you exhale, cactus your elbow, slide your left thigh on top of your right. Kick your feet out wide. Maybe hold the under edges of your feet or hold onto your shins. See if you can lift your feet parallel to the mat. Breathing into your outer left hip. Keep your inner thighs squeezing toward each other and your torso long. Take one more deep inhale. Exhale, release your feet, cactus your elbows again. Lower your feet so you can shift your hips to the left and drop your knees to the right. Gaze can stay to the ceiling or you can turn the gaze to the left. Allow both shoulders to remain heavy. And one last final opportunity to squeeze out anything you no longer need. Any last little bits you're ready to release, leaving it here on your mat with each small bead of sweat. On an inhale, come back through the center, uncross your legs, give your knees a hug and a squeeze. Bring your forehead up to meet your knees. Squeeze your fingers, squeeze your toes. Take one last deep inhale in, and exhale, let it all go. Extend the arms by the sides. Let the feet fall away. Draw the shoulder blades underneath the heart and turn the palms to the sky. And the ultimate act of not taking a single moment for granted, a well-deserved, full and complete final rest, and Shavasana as you lay your body heavy to the mat. And if you have the time, stay in Shavasana. Otherwise, a little movement to the fingers and the toes. Eventually draw the knees back in. Either roll to one side or rock your way up to sit. With a comfortable cross of the legs, allow the palms to come together at the center of the heart, the chest. Bowing your eyes down and in in gratitude to your practice and in gratitude to yourself for making the time and the space to reconnect today. Knowing that what happens on your mat stays in your life, allow your practice to come with you. Inhaling your thumbs to your forehead for clarity of thought, your fingertips to your lips for thoughtfulness of speech, and your hands to your heart for consistency of action, allowing your practice to guide you through everything you're thinking, saying, and doing, so that every breath, every moment is fully embodied and expressed. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth. Namaste.